Hello friends, Callum here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where it's been a bit quiet for a little while, but stand by because 2021 is about to get a whole lot busier on here. So make sure you press subscribe. Have you, go and do it. Have you done it? You've not done it, have you? I'm waiting. You've done it now. Okay, good. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for being here. Lots and lots of videos to come in 2021. Thought we'd start out with something just a little bit different, actually, because a couple of weeks ago, I did something pretty cool, uh, which was to be on the BBC News channel reviewing the newspaper. So this is national television. It was on Saturday, the 9th of January, looking ahead to what is in the front pages of Sunday morning's newspapers. And this was the first time I'd ever done this. So I thought what we would do is sit and watch it back together and see how I got on. So um, if you'd like to leave your critique, feel free to do so. Leave it in the comments down below. I mean, negative comments are fine, but we're here for positive positivity, really. We don't want to be toxic. So if you want to give me some good feedback, then that would be very welcome. But I mean, I'm not going to be fussy about it. Whatever works for you. Uh, right, shall we bring it in then? Let's have a little look. So uh, here we go with the BBC News channel. Uh, by the way, that says 30 minutes. It's not 30 minutes. It's like 10. So we're not going to be here forever. Uh, right, here we go. Let's have a watch. Okay, so this is like the, the little pre-jingle. Now, bearing in mind that because COVID, um, I was doing this from home. So sitting at my dining table, hearing all of this, going, oh my word, I'm about to be on national actual television. What on earth is happening right now? Hello there and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. Mm. With me, I've got the Times <laughs> Radio me? presenter, me? Callum MacDonald and CNN. Can I just say, I look absolutely terrified. <laughs> so at this point, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, so um, we are about to go live. You can hear the jingle. You can't see the studio. So you're just sort of seeing, um, well, in fact, you're not really seeing anything because your screen's down here and then my, my webcam is up here. This is what I'm looking into. Uh, and so you've got to remember, so I'm used to being on the radio, but you've got to remember that you're actually looking at you the people watching at home. Um, and so you've kind of got to get, look, I'm doing it now. I'm looking away from you now, which is terrible. So I do that a few times on this. So whoopsie. Now Rogers, editor of- I wait for this. This bit's a bit awkward. Of Labour List. Hello to you both. Our good chat evening. in a moment. There, I thought, what am I doing piling in with a quick good evening? And the presenter's still busy chatting away and I've just like jumped straight in there all my days. And hi. Oh, and then uh, I go and hide. Look, I run away. Yeah, this, get, uh, get off the pages. screen. <laughs> and start with the Sunday Telegraph. It's <laughs> so funny, honestly. It's just so strange, like, when you're aware that, like, um, you know, everyone can see you and you're kind of, like, on screen the whole time. Uh, anyway, in this bit, uh, they sort of run through what the main headlines are. So let's just spin it forward a little bit. These are some of the things that we're going to be talking about, like, on the newspaper review. Uh, so let's bring it, we'll just Rapidly bring it back in here. Escalating um, pandemic. It's just so weird. It's such a weird experience. Okay, so that was a look through there the front pages. So let's start off our chat. Callum and Sienna, welcome Why do to I you look both. Like a, what was... Quite a mic there, Callum. Right, oh my days, <laughs> right. There's a lot going on there. Um, okay, <laughs> let us take this back. Okay, so first of all, back in vision. So here we are up on the big screen, uh, myself and lovely Sienna, who I was on with there. And uh, here we are being introduced again. And uh, I mean, I just look okay, a bit. So Why do I look like I'm dead? Pages. So let's start like off Ill. our chat. Callum and Sienna, welcome to you both. That's quite a mic there, Callum. And listen <laughs> to that huge compliment about the microphone. This very microphone, in fact, getting a huge compliment. Quite the mic there, Callum. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I mean, well, here's my reaction. And I think we probably want this to be like as big as possible. Are you ready? Here we are. Very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to get a bit shy. Sienna, Don't a bit bashful. And then look at that. Look at that grin absolutely buzzing 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 with that compliment but <laughs> it's so ridiculous Please, with the front page of the telegraph oh my word. and it anyway, looks as go. if it's a case of enforcement rather than tougher so we're straight restrictions. in on the page the front pages yes so you so get to see like telegraph, what it looks uh, like talking about how every police officer um, and then has sienna takes the lead on this one which is cool so she's like explaining the whole story all that sort of thing so i'm saying that sounds pretty reasonable is after all the law listening to all that's going on but I to do work out find what it I should then be saying, especially like the framing of this story is all about how like this is the first are sort of serious contribution about to come up. You know, you've got to make it good. You want to make it punchy. You want to make it like memorable. This is my time to shine. So I'm listening to Sienna, who's a total pro at this, and going, oh my days, what am I going to say? We've seen the death uh, toll anyway. <laughs> go above 80,000. All the time, we, sitting in my dining room. I worry about the disparities. Not really sure of what's going on. Right, what is right? Let's get to this ponderous face next. Anyway, those kind of things oh really do days. concern me, so I, I am concerned about the story. Just before I, I turn to you, Callum. Right, what am I doing? What, tougher lockdown what lockdown. am I doing there? What is that? What is that pause all about? I'm just sick. 
Listening intently. Trying to... <laughs> I look so ridiculous. Do you think I look ridiculous? Leave me a comment. What is that? That's so funny. Right, okay. Let's start it again. So Sienna. I think she goes back to the Sienna here. Yeah. At the moment, yeah, so back to Sienna. Rightly so, because who open. would want to bring in that mumpty really that's just sat there? Like, about why that's happening when it, it didn't happen under the first lockdown. I wasn't, but I promised I, I wasn't bored. I was listening. I was like, this is what happens when you put somebody from the radio on the telly. You kind of forget that you can be seen. So you're like, they had to close now. But honestly, it doesn't make much sense for schools to be closed, but for those settings to be open. Long with right, all oh, right, okay, here we go. Here's the big also moment. Open at the moment. Callum, your thoughts on this story? Yeah, well, I think it's interesting. That's I think basically idea. it speaks to what the bigger problem here is, and that's people's actual unwillingness to go along with. Can I just say, clear. as as a nerd, as a radio nerd, and as a news nerd, to get yourself on the BBC News Channel and to get look to get this name along the screen, how good is that? Just there, I love that, Callum McDonald times radio presenter that's me can you believe it how ridiculous is that that's super cool right let's listen to what else i have to say here uh, and perhaps the government's unwillingness to clarify those things that aren't clear. i like this guy I think I like what you saying this whole pandemic there has been a, a communication issue uh, by the way how good does the dining room oh my days that's a terrible place to pause it but how good does the dining room look here by the way i think that's generally pretty widely accepted actually and that people I'll have again, struggled to like... distinguish between what is a law what is guidance uh, what is advice uh, how strict the rules are in any particular it's area away from me good Idea. region town city bar country nation across the uk i think when we started this there was a willingness from people to stick to the rules it was scary it was unknown <laughs> so and weird. we all were learning basically as we were going along and after that very first lockdown from march until uh, sort of the summertime after that it, it's got hazier and hazier as we've gone along this and is i the think first that, time I've watched that this, actually is is what the problem here is now i do agree with sienna that i think that when it comes to lockdown and when it comes to uh, the rules the guidance as we have them that actually we should be throwing everything at this so if it is a 200 pound fine that i think can be reduced to 100 if uh, if paid within a couple of weeks but if it is fines if that's what's going to deter people from breaking the rules then go for it it's well, at the stage where passionate medics, speech from where here. ministers where chief scientific and chief medical officers and advisors are saying we need to throw more at this. And so I think it's a case of stack it up high. Let's just get through this, toughen it up. We'll get through it in the next few months and we'll emerge out the other side. Callum, before we move on, mm. in terms of getting... Well, what do you think? Across, that is my, that that is my first um, contribution on, on TV to the paper is review Professor Whitty, the right on the BBC News to be Channel. Communicating to what do you think? I, honestly, I would love to hear what you thought of that. I think, um, I think it's about, like, for me, it was very much about trying to sort of find the right balance between, um, I guess, picking up on the story and what the story is, giving information and um, the details of the story, but then also, like, just sort of trying to i guess my my what i want to do is provoke provoke thoughts and not to provoke anger not to provoke confrontation not to be annoying but to actually make those of you watching go oh yeah no i i like that or i don't like that and this is why and this is why i can get on board with what he's saying or this is why i actually just don't care for what he's saying at all either response is totally fine but it should be like a nice civilized thought provoker i think that's what i was trying to do I think that's what I was trying to do um, throughout the Probably. whole thing, in fact. I think he is in that he has been largely a trusted so figurehead throughout this whole is, you know, thing. Professor Chris Whitty. I think what you know, probably helps the chief medical officer for England, whether he is the right person to be like leading this campaign to make everyone pay better attention to the to the rules and to the guidance. There, actually, <laughs> look, they've named me again. Look, let's put this up. Look at that, Callum McDonald, Times Radio presenter. We love that. That's what we like. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> is that Honestly, he's not a politician so uh, and actually it takes it away from uh, the prime minister from perhaps other ministers who may at some points in the last uh, well nearly year or so have kind of muddied the waters yeah, or perhaps about politicians, their own reputations whether they're the right with, people uh, perhaps being too flippant to begin with so anyway that was it that was how i got on the air that was what we said uh, in the first uh, outing in the papers i want to play you just the last little bit as well because i was quite proud of like the last little bit so let me i'm just spooling through to find it here i don't know i'm interested to hear what you think so i think paper newspaper reviews are always quite an interesting one because it's kind of you're listening to like two people give their own thoughts on what it is that they um you know on what they think of the front pages and what they think of the news stories of the next day and i think that's really cool but hopefully as i say like what i wanted to do was to get you to think about it as well and to sort of um i guess think about the stories and think about whether you agreed with what i had to say or not. Um, I think that was what it was all about for me. Uh, right, so the last story you did was this one from The Observer, which is basically The Guardian, but on a Sunday. 
and it's about growing pressure on Donald Trump. I mean, the day that I'm recording this is the day after he was impeached. But anyway, so this was obviously before all of that. So growing pressure to get President Trump out of the White House. So uh, let us see how this goes. Earlier this week, I think so it's really just the end of to recognise that this was first domestic terrorism, basically, that we and saw. And this was after the riot at the Capitol quickly. building. Your yeah, I think the so first thing here is um, the lovely presenter says we've got to be quick. We've got to be quick. So they're obviously running out of time. That's fine. It's TV. That's what happens. So she's like, very quickly, your thoughts. So then I have to very quickly give my thoughts. So uh, let me see. Give me your thoughts on my thoughts. OK, that's what this is all about. So here we are. This is what I had to say. Principle of this can uh, can be best summed up by by the character Charlie from the West Wing. Of course, let's always turn to the West Wing for wisdom in US politics. Who said, while we respect your right to overthrow the government, we don't respect your right right to do it violently, nor from inside the Oval Office. And I think that pretty much sums up the attitude of most elected representatives in the United States who have any sense, right? Ooh, now. Okay, we're going to come back boom to the story in second edition. Elected representatives who have any uh, sense. That's what I said. That's how we finished it off. A little quote from the West Wing. How about that? What do you think of that? Do you watch the West Wing? Don't know if you've seen the West Wing. But that was a little quote. So this was after the Capitol riots when all those people stormed the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And they obviously said, be quick, be quick. So I was like, right, well, how am I going to do this quickly? Let's channel the West Wing. OK, and so the quote is, while we respect your right to overthrow the government, we do not respect your right to do it violently, nor to, from, to do it from within. I've totally messed up the quote. That's really embarrassing. The quote <laughs> <laughs> the quote is, while we respect your right to overthrow the government, we do not respect your right to do it violently, nor from inside the Oval Office. And I think that, although it was in a different context um, in the West Wing, that spoke a lot to the whole uh, point around the Capitol riots and everything uh, as well from last week. So that was how I decided to make that point quickly. Let me know what you thought. And here is how my first appearance finished. ...to say on this, but for now, uh, Sienna and Callum, thank you very much oh, well, indeed. Well, Lovely well, to see well, you well, on the programme as well, Callum, your first show. It's been great to have oh, you. Thank you. Thank you so and, much. And uh, thank you for watching oh, now well BBC News. That, it is click. <laughs> that was a lovely way to end, I thought. She was very lovely, uh, was the quest of the presenter. Very accommodating. And that was nice, wasn't it? Her first outing and all of that. So there you go. That was my first appearance on the BBC News Channel on Saturday the 9th of Jan uh, 2021. And it was really good fun, I have to say. I really loved it. It was really, really cool. It's very, it's a very cool thing to do when you're used to being on the radio and you kind of have your little groove on the radio and then you get to do this, which is still news and still what I love and still what I do every day. But it's just like a little bit of a different dynamic. So I thought I would share that with you and do a little bit of a viewing party of it. All comments welcome. Give us a little thumbs up. Give us a like and make sure you stick around and enjoy the channel and all that I've got planned for 2021. Because by the way, there's loads. So we'll see you soon.